Actually. I guess, actually. Actually. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, wait. Oh, sh- Never made that connection before. He's, he's basically Sasuke. Sasuke. Awkward Mafia. Hello, Internet. Welcome to another episode of Awkward Mafia Watches Lost. I'm Jesse. I'm Christine. Today we are watching episode season one. Yes. Epi- <laughs> episode 16. Episode season episode one. Episode season one. Season episode 16. <laughs> Outlaws. <laughs> yes. I forgot I usually have my notes ready, and I don't have my pencil for some reason. It's it's in here. It's just not on me right now. It's fine. Uh, I wrote it down. Good. <laughs> I am on top of things. I wrote 15 twice. So. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have helped you. <laughs> Where is my pencil? <laughs> Basically, though, what happened last time was... Found it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keep, keep going. Yeah, they found Claire. There you go. Yeah. Like, like he found his pencil, they found... Well, they didn't really find Claire. She kind of just came back. This was all on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> she came back and uh, she had amnesia and they were trying to figure out what was happening and they figured... They did a trap to, like, trap Ethan. Mm-hmm. Did it go super well? And not really because um, <laughs> Charlie ended up Killing Ethan. Well, you know what? The trap part went well. The trap part did go well. Yeah, they did. Jack ended up like beating up Ethan. The keeping him alive for questioning part did not. Yeah. Did not go to plan. Yeah, because Charlie has some issues, which was demonstrated in the episode by him previously like fall or trying to scam a girl for money to get drugs, but she he ended up actually liking her and then. You know, obviously she found out and then dumped him, um, as she should. Because he, he's a, he then did steal from her anyway. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then he did steal from her anyway. <laughs> Even though he was like, I'm going to do the right thing. Oh, God, it's so hard to be without drugs. I'm just going to steal from her. Well, it wasn't quite like that. He just was pushed more into it because she found out and then pushed him away, obviously. So he was like, fuck it, I'll just steal from her anyway. And then he stole from no, her. Actually, he stole from her first. Well, yeah. And, uh, then he, and then he realized he like he actually liked her and was gonna go straight, but yeah, you know. she found out. Yeah, so that was over. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was last time. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's get into the new one. But first, you at home, be sure to support the official release by watching Lost on Hulu or Disney Plus in Europe. <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even think I have to say Disney Plus in Europe in these because <laughs> it's it, this is for America. Well, it's not for America, but it's in America. And in America, you don't really watch this on Hulu. So yeah, watch it on Hulu. Just <laughs> watch it on Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> or get the DVDs. Let's watch. Oh, He's here. Oh, come on. This is really important. Get under the bed. Don't oh, make a sound. Oh, don't come out. No matter what happens, oh, don't come out, okay? okay. Oh, stop it! Oh, shit. God, that's awful. <laughs> he didn't mention he was there when it happened. When he said what what happened to his parents. The boars are back. <laughs> oh. Get it, Sawyer. <laughs> yeah, more food. Oh shit. Whispers. Whispers in the dark. <laughs> uh, the French woman mentioned the whispers, and Saeed heard whispers, and he told Sawyer that he heard whispers. What was it doing inside your tent? It was staring at me. Then it came at me, so I hit it and ran off into the jungle. With your top. Perhaps you wanted to go camping. <laughs> no, Saeed. You enjoying yourself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's honest. 
After you ran into the French woman, you said you heard something in the jungle. My mind was playing tricks. What did you hear? I thought I heard whispering. What was it saying? Why? Did you hear something? Forget it. I didn't hear anything. Okay, this is really awkward. But if I don't say something now, eventually I will get downright embarrassed. Hibs. Oh, Sawyer. Here. Figure that makes us even for the Tampa job. What could possibly make us even for the Tampa job? How about the known whereabouts of the man who ruined your life? That guy, Frank Duckett. Real hard luck case, gambling addict, alcoholic. Runs a shrimp truck. Turns out Frank Duckett used to be named Frank Sawyer, a name I believe you appropriated for yourself. Mm. He's in Sydney, Australia. Go figure. Mm. <laughs> Did you get all the guns back? All except one. Oh. I'm gonna give you three guesses. I can get it back. I've done this before, Kate, and if I remember it right. You made out with him. <laughs> he never even had what you said you could get. <laughs> well, I only made out with him because torturing him didn't work. Too extreme. Either torture him or make out with him. <laughs> no in between. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's still pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, but you know. <laughs> nice start. He's so mad at this boar. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That is a correct response. Oh. I'm surprised the boar didn't go back and hit him again. Surprised didn't cut him up. Yeah. Those tusks are sharp. just attack you for no reason. Thank you, or expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sawyer. What are you doing? Getting even. Did you listen to yourself? It's a bore. <laughs> Honey, I appreciate the help. You don't have to. Oh. I killed Ethan. I can bury him. Yeah, until he rises from the dead. Burn it. Burn the body. Always fire. <laughs> Catches me first because I'm heavy and I get cramps. Oh. Yeah. Why would you bury it? Burn it. Burn the body. Always, always burn. First rule about supernatural: just burn <laughs> all the bodies so they cannot come back. Was he supernatural? I mean, he was really strong. At this point, yes. <laughs> we don't know where he came from. <laughs> Maybe he was already a zombie. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Burn it! <laughs> or a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he can go in the sun. That was the other side. All right. <laughs> Unless he's a twilight vampire. <laughs> and he just sparkles. <laughs> he could be a werewolf. <laughs> or a boar. A boar. A boar. A werebore. Werebore. <laughs> Were you saying boar wolf? <laughs> I was going to say boar. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. He's a boar wolf. He's a boar wolf. No, he's a were boar. <laughs> it's the wrong part of the word I was supposed to use. He's <laughs> a boar. <laughs> <laughs> boar. Can't track this boar without my help. Over the last few hours, you have managed to follow the tracks of humans, birds, a rock slide, yourself, basically everything except boar. <laughs> Carte blanche. It means blank check. I know what it means. <laughs> Anytime I want something from your stash, medicine, soap, whatever, I get it. No questions asked. Take it or leave it. Anytime? Not just the right. one time? Yeah. You got blank it. check. But just what? Like, that's a lot of blank checks, Kate. <laughs> well... So it's the only one blank check. He also likes her. I know. <laughs> so she figures she'd get away with that. But if you want a drink, you gotta play. Play what? I never. What? 
I know you've never been to college. And how do you know that? If you had, you'd have heard of I never. <laughs> it's simple. You say I never, and then you finish the sentence. If it's something you did, you drink. If it's something you never did, you don't drink. I never kissed a man. Now you drink, because you kissed a man. Your turn. I never implied that I've been to college. Well, I never have. <laughs> <sighs> I've never been to Disneyland. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> I never wore pink. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> the 80s. Uh-huh. <laughs> I never voted Democrat. I never voted. Oof. That's even worse. <laughs> She's, you know, on the run. Eh, okay. Also a criminal, she can't vote. Never mind. I've never been in love. I've never been married. Didn't last very long. Never blamed a bore for all my problems. <laughs> 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 He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> never carried a letter around for 20 years because I couldn't get over my baggage. Thanks. A little personal. Wait, I hit deep. Jeez. <laughs> He's like, Ugh, fine, you right. <laughs> I never killed a man. Aw. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like we got something in common after all. That got tense real fast. I know, right? I mean, there are a few drinks in. <laughs> mm, that's true. A few sips in, yeah. Went from never wearing pink to killing a man. <laughs> well, like they said, it was it's to get to know each other. Yeah. When you're on an island together, stuck with nowhere to go, you get deep pretty quickly. It ain't all our stuff. Nope. It ain't your stuff. Mine's fine. <laughs> that hog is gonna suck. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. Morning. <laughs> Block's just like what? What happened to your campsite? <laughs> <laughs> My sister Jeannie died when I was a boy. Fell off the monkey bars and broke her neck. Nice. And my mother, well, my father, <laughs> she blamed herself, of course. Yeah, it's a nice uh, table conversation. <laughs> so she stopped eating, stopped sleeping. Uh, oh, that's good. Luck is so weird. <laughs> About six months after Jeannie's funeral, this golden retriever comes padding up our driveway, walks right into our house, sits down on the floor, and looks right at my mother, there on the couch, and my mother looks back at the dog. My mother bursts into tears. Dog slept in Jeannie's old room on Jeannie's old bed and stayed with us until my mother passed five years later, then disappeared back to wherever it was she came from in the first place. You're saying the dog was your sister? Well, that would be silly. <laughs> but my mother thought it was. I thought that Jeannie come back to tell her the accident wasn't her fault. Let her off the hook. <laughs> well, that would be silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it kind of is. His sister came back as a dog who's probably older than the time it would take to reincarnate as a dog. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, cowboy? Sawyer. The Sawyer. They find whatever he's looking for at the bottom of a glass. What are the odds? What brings you to Sydney? Business. I was a chief of surgery. Why? Yeah, I was. But don't beat yourself up about it. It's fate. Some people are just supposed to suffer. That's why the Red Sox will never win the damn series. <laughs> I have a son who's about your age. He's not like me. He's a good man. Maybe a great one. And right now, 
He thinks that I hate him. He thinks I feel betrayed by him. But what I really feel is gratitude and pride because of what he did to me, what he did for me. And it took more courage than I have. I can tell him about all of this. I could tell him that I love him. One simple phone call and I could fix everything. Why don't you? Because I am weak. It's the business that you have. Will it ease your suffering? Yeah. Then what are you doing here? Did 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 he just like con <laughs> convince him to kill this guy <laughs> on accident? <laughs> oh no, he was doing an inspiring speech. I and... know, but he's like inspiring him to actually kill. <laughs> well, I mean, yay, I guess. <clears throat> yep. Oh, Sawyer. Sawyer! I got a letter for you. Dear Mr. Sawyer. Who? Oh. You used to go by the name of Sawyer. What the hell are you talking about? Tell Hibbs I want to pay. How do you know Hibbs? You don't know what you do, do you? It'll come back around. Yo, <laughs> I wish you just like assume it's him. Ask questions. He was tricked into doing a hit. Yeah. And Jack's dad talked him into going. I know. <laughs> I mean, not on purpose. Well, he didn't kill a guy on purpose either. He was trying to kill Sawyer. <laughs> it's all a series of accidents. <laughs> of trying to do justice. Who was trying to kill Sawyer? What? He's trying to kill Sawyer, the real one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a bore. <laughs> Kate, what did she give you? Nothing she wasn't willing to part with. <laughs> That's why the Sox will never win the series. What's that? It's just something my father used to say. Your daddy. He a doctor too? Was. He's dead. Why do you want to know about my father? He's like, I think I met him. <laughs> No reason. He's like, your dad's the one that convinced me to kill this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was episode 16. Outlaws. I don't believe there are any new mysteries. But no. we did learn a lot about Sawyer. Yeah. We got to see the yeah. inciting is incident that, that set his life on the course it's on currently. His, uh, it's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> his father's murder-suicide <sighs> yeah. after the mother cheated on him and lost all their money. Yeah. Yeah. That is... Uh, that sucks that it happened on top of his bed while he was under it. His dad went into the kid's room. He was going to kill him, too. Yeah, probably. But he wasn't. But he didn't see him, so he just assumed, he, okay, he's at the grandma's house still. All right, I'll just kill myself. <laughs> like, his dad went nuts. Yeah. So, like, I mean, he can't get revenge on his dad. Because <laughs> his dad's dead, yeah. So he blames the guy who set it all in motion, Sawyer. I mean, fair. Which, yeah, is fair. But, I mean, if... I, if I was married and my wife cheated on me and lost all her money, I wouldn't kill her and attempt and possibly our child oh, and yeah. then myself. I, I Honestly, the situation is just all like, it's, it's not one person's fault. It's, I don't know if it's anyone's fault, really. It's just, you know, what happens. It's, it's what happens. It is what it is. People react to trauma in different ways. People yeah. react to things in different ways. So like. And yeah. I think what happened to Frank, the shrimp seller, is mm. also like, Sawyer didn't know what he was doing. Jack's dad didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, yeah like, that's not any of their faults. Like, Sawyer was just so, you know, revenge-driven that he didn't check to see that it was actually him. 
Yeah. He was just like, oh, if I kill this man, I'm finally going to end my suffering. Yeah. So, like, he was so focused, he didn't even check. And then, yeah, just so happens he met Jack's dad, who isn't exactly the greatest role model. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and he just happened to say the right thing at the right time. But killing, even if it was the right man, he would not feel better. Of course not. That's you kind of that's kind of what Charlie's story was about. Yeah, you you won't obviously like you never even if you think you will like you may feel a little better in that moment, but like after that, what it, are the, what is okay? It, you it'll come it. back around like yeah, the like, voices kept saying. Yeah, and like you never you never want if if Sasuke has taught me anything, <laughs> Sasuke is from. Mm. Uh, an anime called Naruto, if you're familiar with it. Um, he's basically Sawyer, kind of. Actually. I get, actually! Actually. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm thinking about him, like, wait. Oh, shit! I have never made that connection before. He's, he's basically Sasuke. Sawyer-ske. Sa- oh, <laughs> he even, okay, I'm gonna spoil, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Naruto. Spoilers for Naruto, yeah, I guess. This is spoilers for the anime Naruto. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. Just, just skip, skip, like, maybe, like, five minutes to be safe. But basically, Sasuke is a character who, his, his clan gets killed by his older brother, mm-hmm. Itachi, mm-hmm. and so... He's the only one left in his clan, and he mm-hmm. basically spends his entire life trying to find his brother to kill him because for killing everyone in his clan. And, like, in near the end of the series, he actually does succeed in killing his brother, but he finds out later about, like, all this stuff that his brother... Like, all these behind-the-scenes political stuff and why his brother actually killed his whole clan. It was very political and, like... He ends up kind of regretting it, and like he's just like, "Oh shit, what have I done?" And it was a whole thing. So I'm like, "Oh shit," he's like basically <laughs> Sawyer, cause Sawyer is basically him, cause he ended up killing this man without checking who he thought, and he thought it was the correct person, but it really wasn't, and like he got tricked into killing him, and Sasuke kind of got tricked into, kind of got tricked into killing him, like just not directly like Sawyer, but just the whole political government, like, political aspect of it, he did kind of get tricked into, like, hunting down this organization that his brother was a part of that was bad, and, yeah, so, and also, you know, that whole, like, murder-suicide thing, like, his whole family got just, like, wiped out, except for him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. By... By the by Sawyer, the there, real there, Sawyer. There are a lot of yeah. similarities, which is kind of weird. Right? I, mean, I never thought of before. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Because, like, <laughs> in the beginning, I, I really didn't like Sawyer. But then, like, now, like, as I, like, get to, like, get know to his know. story, I'm yeah. like, he's a lot more complicated. Granted, in, in the anime Sasuke, I actually really... <laughs> his character is interesting. It's just, he's, he's more... Uh, irritating in the anime than Sawyer. I like Sawyer more than Sasuke, I think. The On, on the line chart of where you like him, Sawyer's doing better than yes, Sasuke. Yes, way better, way better. He's a well, more well-rounded character and he, it seem, he seems a lot more human yes. like or like relatable, I guess, than Sasuke because he goes through this whole thing and like ugh, he just, he gets a little insufferable at times. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. hey, it's only mm-hmm. season one, you know. They could ruin. True. They could. They could fumble. That's Sawyer. true. That's true. They could, but for now. Because I remember liking Sasuke at the start. Of yeah, Naruto. exactly. I liked him too. And then, like, oh man, the, yeah. Okay, but this is cool. But like, okay, yes. where how how are they gonna bring it back around? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, granted, the Naruto series is like over. Well, the first like the original series is two hundred episodes, and then they made another one. Which is also about two, two to three hundred episodes, I believe. So yeah, yeah, you can they they had a long time to really like uh, fuck up his character, which <laughs> yeah. they kind of did. Just yeah. Just right. anyway, moving away from the Rudo <laughs> yeah. for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just like I was like, oh shit, he's sus. Uh, yeah. So in Boone's episode where he went to Australia to save mm-hmm. Shannon, he went to the police station, and we saw Sawyer being arrested. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, we don't know if it was for murder. It could have just been for something else. It yeah. could have been something else he got. He, yeah, I, I feel like... I'm sure he got real drunk after that, after he killed the wrong man. 
Sawyer's in a very is a very emotional guy. He, he probably didn't handle that very well. Yeah. Uh, but not only do, is Sawyer in the background of a Boone flashback, Jack's father <laughs> actually yeah. has a whole pretty good scene yeah. with Sawyer in the bar where he just says, it's I suck. I know I suck. My son is way better than I'll ever be, and I'm proud of him. But I'm not going to tell him when, when we when, when he was a kid... I told him he didn't have what it takes. He's got it in spades. I'm the one who doesn't have what it takes. I'm not going to call him, though, because I it suck. Is, yeah. <laughs> Which is not a good excuse, by the no. way. Which Jack even says in this. It was uh, of what, it's why the Red Sox will never win the World Series. It's just his way of saying it's fate, so it's not my fault. Yeah. Instead of taking responsibility. I'm, this is the role I have in the universe. Yeah. Blame the universe for my actions, not yeah. me. Yeah, which is not a yeah. It's not a good uh, ide- ideology to have. It's what, what? When was it? The Red Sox did win the World Series in like two thousand five, two thousand six. Mm-hmm. This is two thousand four. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's ironic. And so the them saying no, no, I think they did win it in two thousand five or four. I think it was earlier. Than I think. Because I remember that was a thing. That was a joke. The Red Sox never won the World Series. And then they win. And they, they've won it now twice, I think. Okay. Uh, since since yeah. this. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, yeah. Can't make that joke anymore. Yeah. yeah. That joke aged real well. <laughs> yeah. And actually, no, I'm serious. It, it like aged well because he's wrong. Like, that's not what hey, you're supposed you know to what? do. Yeah. So, yeah. like, them winning not... actually helped their case. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah. You can't say that anymore because... Yeah. You have to take responsibility for your actions because the world, the Red Sox won the World Series. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny though. <laughs> it worked. out. It just happened to work out. Yeah, they planned it. I know they did. <laughs> so I mean, what what do you think about the connections that we've been seeing? Uh, I mean, I kind of figured like it would happen at some point. Like they would all connect somehow, just because like I mean, they were all on the plane. And yeah, they were all in Australia at yeah, that time. Yeah, at the same time. So it's totally possible. Yeah, and I mean, I know Australia is a big country. Yes, um, but they were all in Sydney. Yeah, and they were yeah specifically Sydney and like just like seeing that they were all there for like uh, even though it's different reasons like they weren't all there. They weren't there just to like oh I'm on vacation and I just there, yeah there wasn't stuff. a convention that they were all attending. They were all there for different reasons. And now we know what Sawyer's was. To kill a man. Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, even even though it was different reasons. I just, like... Just because, yeah, like, they, you know, the, their whole thing is, like... They were there for, like, a very specific reason. It wasn't like, oh, I'm here on vacation and I just happened to get stuck on this deserted island. I mean, I'm pretty mm. sure probably some of them were. Well, was it, uh, um, one guy was... I think it was Scott... Who died? He won a contest. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. But like we never saw him ever really. We, we saw the main character. There was a joke that because yeah. he was always with Steve, they was yeah. confused. They, Actually, yeah. apparently, the actor I, I don't remember which one died and which one lived. Uh, I think Scott died. Let's say Scott died, even if it's not true. Reverse it in your mind. Uh, the actor who plays Scott played Steve at the funeral. <laughs> I mean, we did. I don't. The, the actors got swapped at some point. I don't remember ever seeing them though. They were they were together. They just they, the only line they had was, "I'm Steve. That's Scott." Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't uh, remember. So, so then they're always kind of together, and they're mostly referenced offhand. Yeah. As talked about like, yeah, I'm going out, and you know, we're you know, Claire got attacked, so we're out here searching, and I'm here with Scott and Steve, and I'm thinking to myself, who the hell are Scott and Steve? Yeah. We don't know any of these people, or you know, Sawyer. Confusing yeah. one for the other, but like I mean, not. But the they, but the show got them confused because they put the wrong actor in the wrong spot. So there's a fan theory <laughs> that Scott faked his death, or that he, <laughs> or that he used Steve's death to like escape something. <laughs> to like, yeah, like. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> because that's a pretty big. Mis- that's a running joke that the show itself messed up. <laughs> yeah. So who knows where that's going? But anyway. That's old news. Yeah. Now, Charlie's dealing with killing the guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Saeed was there to say, like, I, I've killed people. And, mm-hmm. yeah, it doesn't, it's, you know. It doesn't matter if they were, like, bad. They deserved it. Yeah, or they, yeah, they deserved You'd it. You still did it. 
you know, and it, it'll it'll get to you eventually. And yeah. when it does, because you you alone chose that they didn't like you decided that they didn't deserve it, so you decided to kill them. Yeah. Even though probably even in Saeed's case, he, it was an execution. He volunteered for yeah. the job. Yeah. And it like, would have happened with or without him. He chose yeah. to be part of it. Yeah. And even though like generally. Most people would agree, like, yeah, he probably deserved it, but still, like, you aren't the one deciding that and then yeah. actually killing the person. It does remind me, like, I, I think I've heard recently, like, something about war, where mm. it's not the death that gets you or gives you trauma, it's the killing. Killing mm. people does. And that's why, like, a lot of veterans, you know, are so, like, they have such bad PTSD coming back. It's like, it's not because, I mean, it is because they saw like, you know, their friends die, but like killing people really does something. And like, it's not an easy thing to do. And you have to do that in droves in at war when you're at war, you know, Higgs, the, the guy who set up Sawyer says he didn't, he didn't believe Sawyer would kill him because he doesn't believe Sawyer's a killer. And to an extent he's right. Yeah. Uh, Sawyer had the opportunity to kill a guy and he hesitated. Yeah. He only did it after a pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> and even <laughs> then he was still like trembling and like not, yeah. he's not okay with killing people. Yeah. It's not, in, he's not a killer. Yeah. And yet Charlie, <laughs> Just no pushed. hesitation. Yeah. Uh, Literally. It, it, it did affect him, but he wasn't like wrapped with guilt or anything about it. It's just affected him. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if it wasn't, yeah, I don't think it's guilt necessarily. It's just, it's just the process of it. Yeah. Ending a life is... Uh, it's complicated. Yeah. It's, yes. It's com- that's the best way to put it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah. But I think it is interesting that if you put on the show so far, Charlie and Sawyer next to each other, which one's a killer and which one's not a killer? Right. You wouldn't expect it to be Charlie's the killer and Sawyer Or like isn't. the one who doesn't feel remorse. The one who's capable of killing more easily. Yeah. You wouldn't think it's Charlie for the for whatever reason the right for the right reason you know it's not Sawyer. Honestly though, I feel like it's always like that because like Sawyer like you don't you put up this bravado a lot like when you want to be something you're not you know like you put mm. a face so like even though he seems like you know he's gonna kill someone more easily but it's like yeah it's a it's a facade but Charlie like he doesn't have a facade to like hide under. So, like, yeah, it's, it, I can really, like, looking back on it and, like, knowing Charlie's personality now, it's like, yeah, like, I could see that. Because, especially because, like, he suppresses, instead of, like, putting up a facade, he suppresses all of it and doesn't talk about it. So, like, just, when it comes out, he just snaps, no hesitation, just boom, you know, like. They, They both have who they want to be and who they are. And Charlie wants to be a respectable. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. You know, he was the church boy because he stayed away from temptation. Yeah. But you put any temptation in front of him, he'll jump on it because that's who he is. He just very And Sawyer yeah. wants to be the suave, cool con man, which to an extent he is, but he is an emotional person. And I think I've, I think there's a creator, I saw some interview with them from a while back recently, and they are just talking about the reason Sawyer is such a good con man is because he has such a high emotional intelligence. Yeah. He's not book smart like like yeah. Jack. He is he can read someone instantly yeah. because he understands emotions yeah. and, and instinct better than like anyone else on the island. But just, it, it, it goes pre- both ways. He also it's it's Sawyer pretends not to know too. Like he, he knows like yeah, he, he, he can read people really well and he knows like when to like back off of it mm. and when to like, you know. Mm. Be like, oh, okay, let me, let me insert. Yeah. Yeah. And he knows his, I think the problem, (laughs) not problem, but like, he, I think he knows his own feelings too, but Mm. he just, um, in a little bit of denial sometimes with his own feelings, like he doesn't want to feel some of the things he's feeling. So he, that's why he has this like facade, right? So he pretends he's not like, yeah, exactly with the con man, he pretends he's not feeling like that or doesn't have any feelings really. Yeah. Whereas Charlie is like kind of the opposite. Yeah, Charlie kind of wears everything on the sleeve. Yeah, he wear yeah you you like he you can tell what he's feeling basically from a mile away, but like he doesn't. 
I don't think so, sometimes he doesn't know he's feeling it and he just acts on yeah. those feelings. Whereas, yeah, Sawyer yeah. is kind of the opposite where he knows he just doesn't want to admit it. So he acts. Because yeah. like when you think when you think of like a really good comment, you think of like a sociopath, someone who doesn't care. And he's the reason he's able to read people is because he studies people. He can, but Sawyer, he's he's so good at what he does because he's in it. You know, he he knows people and he can feel it. And that's also kind of one of Jack's weak points. Yeah, Jack is, has very low emotional intelligence. <laughs> But he's very smart and he's very kind and caring. Yeah. He just doesn't know how to connect with people. And Sawyer is so good at connecting people, he can get them to give him whatever he wants. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting that the emotional aspect of these characters go in the opposite of where you think their alignment would be, you know? Yeah. I think that's why, like, I'm really liking the show so far. Like, because, especially with Sawyer, like, yeah, you, you think, you think the opposite of what you, like, he really is. And... Yeah. Um, it just, like, goes to show, like, yeah, li- like, life is really messy, and when you're, when you have a lot of trauma, especially from, like, you know, childhood, it can really, like, take you in a different direction, even though, like, because, you know, obviously, if that, all that stuff did not happen to, to Sawyer, like, he could have turned out very, very different. Very different, like, who knows what he and, could, would be yeah, like. But he still would have probably been very emotionally intelligent, you know? He just wouldn't have used it to con other people. Yeah, he wouldn't have had this trauma. <laughs> yeah. To to mess up his path or whatever. Yeah. So, and it, it I like to like it shows how different people respond to trauma, especially from a young age, because all of them had trauma when they were young. Uh, so it's very like realistic in that sense. They're all like very different people, even though. Yeah. All, all they really have in common is that they're stuck in the same spot. Yeah, even though, yeah. Yeah. It makes and it, yeah, it makes sense, like, why they're reacting in the way they're reacting to the same trauma that they're now all experiencing. Yeah. 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 I like it. Well, thank you for... Uh, <laughs> it's, thanks a lot if you watched all of that. <laughs> we went we yeah. went some places, but this is, I think, a really good episode. It is. It's yeah. the... I think it's better than his first episode, which I don't even remember... It was just him. They showed oh, it like was the him con doing a con. Yeah. yeah, or they showed that they that he was a con man, yeah. basically. Yeah. Because that one doesn't answer questions other than he was a con man and why he's a con man. Yeah. This one goes into like, no, this is why he's because they explain it and you're still like, he's a dick. I don't care. <laughs> but they show you what they yeah. show you it and you realize, no, actually, yeah, okay. I get, I, I understand so you're now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Good on you if you, yeah, if you listen to that entire ramble. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how much, I, if I edit any of it out, but I, yeah, I think there was a lot of good points, so I think I'll probably mostly leave it alone. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. So you get to see more content. Yep. More lost. <laughs> more lost. Yes. Bye, everybody.